Hello and welcome to The Cranky Old Gamer. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a game that is, as of the time of this recording, smashing Kickstarter. Uh, the game is Subterra. I had a chance, you may have seen my video that I posted last week, uh, I had a chance to sit down with one of the publishers and actually play a game on Tabletopia. Had a blast. Absolutely love this game. Um, Let's get right to it. Uh, basically, what the game is, the best way I can sum it up very shortly. Have you ever seen the movie The Descent? Very, very tense kind of caving movie about a bunch of people stuck in a cave. Take the plot of Descent, combine it with the gameplay of Betrayal at House on the Hill and Pandemic. Mash them together and you have Subterra. It is a lot of fun. Uh, you choose various characters. You have the bodyguard, you have the leader, you have diver. There's eight roles and each one plays very differently, but what it sets it apart from Pandemic is that unlike Pandemic, there's not one particular role that is necessary. Let's be honest, we've all played Pandemic. Has anybody ever won without the medic? I'm not saying it's impossible, just highly improbable. Um, with this, everybody has their own abilities, but they're not overpowered as all hell. Uh, the bodyguard, he can repel a monster. Uh, oh, yes, there are monsters. He can repel a monster. Uh, he starts with extra hit points. Uh, the leader, you can use one of your moves to move somebody else. That's pretty handy. Uh, that came in handy during our playthrough. Uh, the diver, there will be flooded tiles for the diver. Flooded tiles are not a hazard, they're a teleport. Uh, the scout, oh, I loved my scout when I played. Like I said, there are monsters in this game. The scout is immune to them. Monsters don't see the scout. Anyway, so the basic way the game is played is each person chooses one of the heroes and you have all fallen in with a cave-in and you have to explore your way out. Uh, this is where the comparison to Betrayal at House on the Hill goes. Uh, it's all tile-based. There are stacks upon stacks of tiles. More tiles. More tiles! I think, okay, that's all the tiles. But still, you get where I'm going with this. And just like Betrayal, you know, you start in one tile and you branch out from there, exploring and building the cave. Uh, there, some of them are just a dead end, some of them are turns, some of them are junctions, some of them are flooded, some of them have risks of cave-in, some of them are treacherous, some of them require a rope, some of them are horror nests. Horrors are actually not shown. Um, Peter, the gentleman that I played with, very specifically said the creators of the game did not want to ever show us the horrors because it adds to the fear. Okay, I can buy into, uh, you know, less is more, you know, the unknown is scary. Okay, I think I'll probably find miniatures of something and use them whenever I play. I like seeing my horror. Um, but regardless, a horror will chase you down and kill you as soon as they come to you. The game is very, very hard. Um, in the game that Peter and I played on Tabletopia, we lost, we ended up dying, but it is winnable. Much like Pandemic, you're timed by a deck of cards. Now, unlike Pandemic, you're not instantly dead when you lose cards. Uh, it just makes it pretty likely. Cards you draw every round and it's going to trigger uh, a cave-in or a flood or gas. There's pockets of gas. Uh, somebody had Taco Bell, I don't know. Um, they can trigger a horror. The things that happen on the cards are not always going to happen. Uh, for example, cave-in cards have two dice faces on them. You roll a die. If the face has a two or a six and you roll anything but a two or six, you're safe. Uh, however, if there's a gas card and your character ends up in a gas pocket, you're dead. Now, characters are always considered incapacitated. You are never permanently dead. Um, other characters can come around and if they can make it to your body, they can be like, hey buddy, wake up, and you can survive. Um, it's not likely, just being honest. 
So once this deck of cards runs out, your flashlight is considered to be broken out of batteries, basically. And from that point on, you roll a die every step of the way. Every, every single tile you move, you have to roll. Hope that you roll successfully. Otherwise, you take a damage and you only have so much damage. Now, the version of the game that I have, you may notice I have not held up a box. Uh, the version that I have is currently a prototype. As I said, the game is currently on Kickstarter and they are killing it. They beat their goal and they, they, they thought it was a pretty lofty goal. Uh, they beat their goal in less than 12 hours. Uh, if I remember correctly, as of the time of this recording, it's been less than a week and I think they may have hit $100,000. And it's worth it. The game is simple, it's fun, it's very challenging, and it's very atmospheric. Like, for being a board game, I, I don't I generally get like, I enjoy a good theme, but I don't get like nervous or tense. Admittedly, The Descent was one of those movies, and it wasn't even the monsters, it was just the tight spaces and claustrophobia. Uh, the Descent was one of those movies that had me like, oh God, in theaters. And weirdly, the game kind of captured that pretty well. Like, it was very claustrophobic, it was very nerve wracking. I got, I had a really visceral reaction with this game, and I had a lot of fun with it. So, so if you guys are interested in helping to kickstart the game, I will put the address down below. Um, if you're watching this video months down the line, you're just, you've discovered me and you're watching my old past videos, future you can probably check this out as of, I believe, November 2017. So yeah, check it out. The game is called Subterra. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, once again, this is The Cranky Old Gamer. Please check out my website, thecrankyoldgamer.com. I would very much appreciate that. Follow me on Instagram, The Cranky Old Gamer. And if you like my channel and you want to see me grow, please do check out my Patreon and consider contributing just a couple bucks a month. Uh, it is, of course, The Cranky Old Gamer. You can check out the link at the end of the video during the credits. And if you donate, your name could be in those credits. You could see your name on the internet. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. That's all I got. I don't know if box. See you later.